Good morning guys, thanks for joining me for another What I Eat In A Day As A Vegan On Slimming World. Today is Saturday, it's currently just gone nine o'clock and I'm just thinking about some breakfast. Um, yes, I'm ready and up unusually sort of promptly <laughs> this morning. Weekends I tend to sort of faff around a lot in the mornings but I think because I took yesterday off work and kind of faffed around then, I think that's kind of got that out of the way. So. There we go. Um, I'm fancying, I think, some porridge this morning because I haven't had porridge, like pure porridge for a while. And it's a really, really grotty day out there. It's really dark. I've got to have all my lights on. Um, it's really windy and wet and just bleh. So I think porridge is a nice breakfast to have, just nice and cozy. Just keeping it super, super basic. I've got my 40 grams of oats in my saucepan. And then I've measured out my healthy extra A of this soya milk. Um, you can have 400 mils of this as your healthy extra A choice. So um, I'm not gonna need all that for porridge, but I thought if I just measure out the lot, then it makes it a bit easier to measure. And I'm sure I'll find something else to use the rest on later today. Um, but I want about, ah, oh, perfect. So I should have just over a hundred left. I'm going on the instructions on the porridge packet because they're supposedly super creamy ones. So we'll see. <laughs> um, it helps like turn it on at the wall, wouldn't it? Um, and you're all probably thinking, well, where's the cinnamon? Where's the flavor? The answer is I like plain porridge. I've always liked plain porridge. Um, and every time I add stuff to porridge, I'm just disappointed if I'm honest. So plain porridge it is. When I was a teenager, I was obsessed with just practically every morning I would just have porridge made with milk, um, you know, dairy milk back then. But you know, that was all I would have every single day. And I just love it. I love it to this day. So yes, and I haven't had it in so long, so. That's where we are with this. I'm not sure if I uh, made it obvious yesterday, but I didn't actually have a coffee all day yesterday, which is fairly unlike me. Um, anyway, so I'm having one now. Uh, and what I've done is just heat up the rest of this milk. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm actually gonna enjoy this because as you guys know, I like my almond milk, which is sweet and taste of almonds. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Okay, my porridge is currently thickening. So that'll be all right in a minute. Um, this, I'm, mm, I, don't, I just don't think I'm gonna like it. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna use a teensy bit of sweetener. I've not had this in a drink before, so I'm not really sure how, if I'm gonna like it or not. But at least it's sin free, so I guess this will kind of, because the almond milk is quite sweet that I use, the barista almond milk. Um, and of course it does have the almondy taste, so I've got to make my brain think, no, you're not expecting that. Um, but hopefully that bit of sweetener will make it a bit more palatable. You know, funny how I like some things quite sweet and some things not. <laughs> Mum's up as our normal Saturday morning routine and I'm just having a latte uh, made with 300 mils of Alpro Almond Barista, uh, which is three sins. The fingers are just in the background, I'm not actually eating them. <laughs> well, hello. If my hair looks a little odd, it's because Delta's just been doing oh, a new hairstyle for me, which, you know, was very nice. <laughs> um, it is now about one o'clock. Mum has gone and I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, so I'm making some lunch and I'm having a lovely big comforting bowl of noodles, veggies and tofu. And I'm going to make like a broth to put over it all. I'm not calling it ramen because I don't really know what defines ramen. So I'm just saying like noodles, veggies, tofu and broth. <laughs> um, and there's gonna be a couple of sins in it, but that's fine because we're allowed to use our sins and it's okay to use sins. And also you should have some fat in your diet, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get on and start making this and I'll show you what I do. Just wanna show you how like rough it is outside. Not that this is really showing you, but uh, it is rainy, it is windy, it's just, it's cold. It's just a proper good day for a cozy bowl of something at lunch. 
First things first, just chucking my tofu in the air fryer. Um, I'll start by putting it on for 10 minutes, um, but I will give it a shake partway through and, you know, shush them about. Sorry, I should have clarified if you're new here. Um, this is pretty much the tofu I always use. 99% um, of the time I use the smoked one just because it has so much flavor. It's genuinely so good. You don't need to press it. You can just get it straight out of the pack, chop it. It's delightful. Honestly, I could sit and eat it just on its own. So yeah, fully recommend. It is expensive, but you know, what, what are you looking for in your tofu? <laughs> Okay, here's my veggies. So I've got half a bag of mange too, uh, just two mushrooms, just cause that was what was left in the pack, but they're decent sized ones. Um, a whole red pepper and a pack choy, which I've just cut in half cause I want to just do it just on the underside. So it's like seared almost. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but we can try. Um, so that's gonna be the main veggies. I've got my tofu cooking um, noodles wise. I've got these udon noodles. Um, I am going to use all of them, of course. Um, so that's two sins for that pack. I've also got spring onions and coriander, of course. Um, I'm gonna be making a like brothy thing, I think I said. So um, again, there's gonna be some sins in this. Um, miso, that's free, soy sauce is free. Sesame oil, um, oils are two sins for a teaspoon. So there'll be that. And chipotle paste is, I think, half a sin for a teaspoon. Um, and I'm undecided yet whether to put this stock pot in or not. I will come back to you because I feel like it's going to be salty enough. But I don't know. Again, just for convenience, I like these frozen packets of garlic and ginger. So I'm just going to add some of each into my stir fry part as well. Okay, I'm winging it with my sauce, so I'm gonna tell you my quantities afterwards. Um, this kettle is off the boil, because I don't want to completely destroy the miso. So I'm just gonna do like, I don't know, half a pint, something like that. I'm gonna see how this turns out. Don't forget this is a broth, not a sauce, so I want it thin. I'm not putting in the stock cube, I don't think, but I will, you know, try it afterwards to see. But yeah, I'll feed back on this sauce in a moment. Broth, not sauce, broth. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this consists of one teaspoon of sesame oil, so two sins, two teaspoons of chipotle chili paste, which is one sin, two tablespoons of soy sauce, um, I use the reduced salt one, and then uh, two teaspoons of miso. It's very miso-y with a little light kick and a bit of the sesame, it's very, very nice actually. So I'm pleased with that, nice, easy like broth to make. Um, obviously I've got my stuff here, I've added my tofu, I've got a little bit more tofu to put on top because I would like it crispy, but I'll do that after I take my picture. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly do my spring onions and coriander ready to go on top um, before I pour the stuff on so that the tofu doesn't go too soggy. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I don't know if I've made enough, too much, too little. Oh my God, lush. Oopsie, got some on the oven. Yum. Try to get all the bits out of sight so we don't look unsightly on top. Oh no, it's all my chipotle bits. Get in. <laughs> and we're done. Seriously, doesn't that look good? Well, maybe it doesn't look good to you. It looks good to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am very much looking forward to this. So five sins, happy days. And just for laughs, that's what it actually looks like after I've added the rest of the tofu, the rest of the coriander and the rest of the spring onions. <laughs> but you understand my dilemma. Like you just can't really see as much if I put it all on to begin with. <laughs> so yeah, okay, I'm gonna go tuck in, bye. Also, in case you wanted to laugh, this is how I have to eat it. I'm at the table, very civilized. I have <laughs> my tea towel down my front because I will throw it down myself. I have my hair tied back because my hair will go in the broth. <laughs> always, always happens. Um, and I have chopsticks and a fork and a knife because inevitably I'm gonna need to use pretty much all of them. Well. I'm amazed that my lips aren't bright red. My chin's red from where I rubbed all the broth <laughs> off as I ate it. I've got to say that was 
amazing, fully recommend. Um, I am having a cup of tea now, just a cup of after dinner tea, and I'm having two little um, Polish gingerbready things. Uh, these are two sins each, and they're very delicious. It is so rainy and grotty out there, you probably can't even tell, to be honest. But yeah, I'm glad I'm inside today. <laughs> As some of you all know, I just love weather like this because when the weather's rubbish, how cozy does it feel inside your house? I just, oh, I love it. I do have to motivate myself though. You know, it is Saturday, chores need to be done. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, the things you put me through, <laughs> just kidding, but Shell, this one is all on you because since you mentioned cauliflower this morning, I have not been able to get it out of my head and so <laughs> I have just been out running around trying to find a bloody cauliflower and it's now half past seven and I'm starving <laughs> but don't worry because I got two so yeah life isn't that bad really <laughs> um I am sat in my car I'm gonna go into the house I'm so tired you guys honestly um I did some really good house cleaning this afternoon so that was a really really nice thing to get done um because I'm not in a very good routine with like my cleaning yet still after you know all the fatigue stuff um well I'm, I'm clearly still experiencing it because I am absolutely wiped out but my house is lovely <laughs> um so then I was like I need to go to the shops because I need some more vegetables and things because yesterday I just got a few basic bits um I still haven't managed to get very much I went to Lidl's and oh the they just like nothing was there it was honestly it was awful so but the one thing i really wanted as i've just said is a cauliflower did they have a cauliflower oh they did they had four teeny weeny little fresh cauliflowers and two of them had mold all over them and two had black spots i was like no not having that and also that makes them really bad value as well because they were really teeny they don't even sell frozen cauliflower can you believe that but this i bet you can believe I actually ended up spending about 30 quid in Lidl. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> on Some on veg, so that was good. And some on loads of different gosh bites to try. So that'll be quite fun. Um, I found a whole other section of them in there. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun, fun to try. But then I was like, I still really want cauliflower. So then I drove all the way to Tesco, little Tesco in my town, not big Tesco, like 20 miles away. That would be insane. But uh they had cauliflower yay so i got some cauliflowers i got two um they're only 69p and they're huge and they're really really nice ones so i'm excited because i've got cauliflower um and i got a broccoli and i got um some of the plant chef vegetable fingers so and in lidl's i got loads of treats basically <laughs> <laughs> because their Christmas stuff was out. So obviously I had to like stand there for ages. I've literally been out of the house for like nearly an hour and a quarter and it's all only down the road from me. <laughs> but you know, I just like to stand and read everything and see if it's vegan or not. And if it is vegan, then I'm like, cool, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> so yeah, that was an expensive trip out for a cauliflower. <laughs> Anywho, as I said, it is now gone half past seven. I'm sat in the car. I'm so hungry. I need to carry my very heavy two bags into the house and make some tea. Unfortunately, my kitchen is an absolute bomb site on the sides, not the like floors or anything like that, because obviously I've cleaned, but um, in terms of like just normal kitchen waste, because I didn't unload the dishwasher this morning and that's always a massive mistake. Always unload the dishwasher first thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's dirty dishes like everywhere from lunch and stuff. So. Yeah, I haven't even got a space to cook in and I'm so hungry and I need food now. And I really wanted to have mashed potatoes and cauliflower, but now I'm like, I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, uh. Okay, so I've decided um, I would like to hear from you guys. Obviously, I'm not gonna pick this up till tomorrow when you guys see this, but I would like to know what would you make that is low or no sin? Um, so let's say no more than five sins. Um, what meal would you make right now given that the kitchen is a mess and you're really tired and really quite hungry. Give me some ideas and I may even make some of them if I like the sound of them. <laughs> so tell me what you would make. I'm interested to hear because <laughs> it's all about me. I want to hear about you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go in and cook because honestly my tummy is rumbling so badly. <laughs> okay, I can have a little bit of breathing room now. So um, hopefully you guys are putting some good suggestions for me for in the future down in the comments but for right now I'm sort of saying sorry I'm gonna have what I fancy and I'm just gonna wait for a little bit longer 
and drink some water because <laughs> I am actually thirsty. Um, so yes, basically I am having my, what's going on with my hair? I am having my um, potatoes. So I've got some potatoes boiling now that I just very quickly peeled. I thought I'd just get it on the go. Um, so they're boiling. In the air fryer, I've got um, some Linda McCartney red onion and rosemary sausages. I haven't had them for a while and they have them in Lidl. So I picked some of those up, picked up a few packets. Um, in Tesco's, I also got um, the veg fingers, which I think I mentioned. Um, these are only ones in each. And actually I really like them. It's like when I was a teenager, when I was vegetarian, that used to be like, one of the only vegetarian things you could get. Um, obviously under the Tesco brand, not the uh, Plant Chef one. Maybe it was even Bird's Eye back then. I know Bird's Eye still do them. But anyway, so yeah, I had a real nostalgic feeling for them when I saw them and realized there are only ones in. So I've got a couple of those in as well. Um, and then I've cut up about half, look at the mess, about half <laughs> a head of cauliflower. And I'm gonna chuck that in with the potatoes and effectively make collie pots, which is something that Isochandra Moskvich uh, makes, her of the Post Punk Kitchen. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be like cauliflower, mashed potato, and then with the other bits on the side. And also in Iceland the other day, I bought the Slimming World onion gravy. So I'm gonna give that a go, heat that up and get that in the uh, microwave as well. So. Fingers crossed it's all nice. I might do some peas just for some greenery because it's gonna look very, very beige and brown. <laughs> okay, I'm getting myself a bit more organized, but let's do the grocery haul a minute. So, Tesco's, <laughs> it was literally my broccoli and two cauliflowers. Obviously I've used like half of this cauliflower for my dinner and it was the veg fingers that are already in the freezer. Okay, here we have my Lidl's haul. Um, <laughs> so, let's start with the veg. Um, pretty sure this is a Hokkaido squash, but if it is, it's a really big one or red curry, I think they're also called. Um, I got some leeks, I got three aubergines because I'm just going through aubergines like crazy at the moment. I'm in such an aubergine phase, so, and they were on the special thing. Um, I got a big bag of potatoes, which I've just used some for my mash, um, but it's basically <laughs> a couple of huge potatoes and then quite a lot of smaller ones, which is annoying, but whatever, I took what I could get. I also got a lovely looking Savoy cabbage. Um, I found in the Christmas aisle where I spent, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of time, um, I found this um, non-alcoholic mulled wine, which I'm quite excited about because I, um, as I'm sure you know by now, I don't drink alcohol anymore. Um, I'm not ruling it out for the whole of my life, but I'm, I'm certainly not planning to anytime soon. It's been two and a half years, I think. Um, I'm not an alcoholic, by the way, just, I just don't drink it anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one actually even says on it, um, suitable for vegans. So that's nice, but it's basically lots of different fruit punches. I just thought that'd be a really nice thing to have instead of mulled wine. So um, I just got one bottle and then if it's nice, I'll get a couple more because mum doesn't really drink alcohol either. Um, she has a very occasional third of a pint of stout, but that's it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so um, I'll try that. And then also when I go to my friends at Christmas, we used to always have mulled wine. So if I have this that'll be a nice alternative all right on to the good stuff so i found these alpro cafe latte things um i'm not sure if you're going to eat them uh eat them drink them iced or warmed no idea i guess cold it doesn't say to heat it but yes yeah, so i'm looking forward to trying that um they are 73 calories so at worst they're going to be three and a half sins um maybe four but i doubt it um okay then the gosh stuff that i already mentioned i got um two packs of beetroot burgers i forgot how much i like these beetroot burgers i haven't seen them for a long long time like years and years and years so i'm um, looking forward to having those i have a feeling that they're quite high in sins so i'll need to work that out or at least check delta good girl um yeah so all of this gosh stuff i haven't done since yet i also got sag alu bites like i said i found this whole other section that i didn't even know was there that had loads of different ones in go and cauliflower bites how good does that sound oh and spinach and pine nut bites they all just sound amazing i'm just like really excited um okay and then the good stuff i got orange creams um four packets because i love an orange cream almost as much as a coffee cream um and these are vegan and they actually say it on them which is really really nice um they have rose creams violet creams and mint creams as well as these orange creams but basically these are the only ones i care about so i got those um i got the only ritter sport marzipan they had in there these are amazing i am a big marzipan fan 
a Marzi fan, if you will. Um, and um, these are probably the best Marzi pan chocolate you can get. I think it's six or six and a half sins for four little squares, and there's 16 squares in here. Um, my Lidl's is a small one, I think I've said before, and they have pretty much always not get any of these particular ones. And I looked through the rest of the box and this was the only one there, so I grabbed it because you've got to grab it. But in the Christmas part, they had these marzipan logs with dark chocolate on them, I know. And they haven't got um, any non-vegan ingredients, so chalk that up as a win. So I'm gonna try this one as well, but I don't quite know how I'll end up splitting that down. So that'll be a, an interesting experiment. <laughs> the Ritters are quite nice because they're in little squares, but. Anyway, yeah, and that's everything. Um, oh, and I got three packs of Linda McCartney red onion and rosemary sausages, which are, of course, sin-free on Slimming World. So, yeah, I bought loads of stuff. I wanted a cauliflower. There you go. That's life. <laughs> They're just not going my way. So I was just draining off my potatoes and cauliflower. They've been boiling for a substantial amount of time. And, um, yeah, the lid came off and it all fell in the sink. And it turns out I'd overcooked the potatoes so much that half of it's disintegrated. So that's gone down the <laughs> So it's now mostly cauliflower, but whatever. Um, it's in my blender with an OXO cube right now. And um, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm gonna put cheese in it as well, because I fancied like a cheesy mash. Mm. Man, I'm stressed. Okay, so I've blended my collipots. I say collipots, it's not really ice as a recipe. It's just cauliflower and mashed potato and um, OXO cube. But um, this is on an extremely low heat and I'm just mixing it together because it's obviously lost a fair bit of heat. I've forgotten to cook peas, so this is gonna be a beige and brown dinner. Unusual for me. I've stirred in 80 grams of cocoa, vegan cheese for my two healthy extra A's today. I've just um, got to get the onion gravy out. Well, this isn't gonna win any beauty awards, is it? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know what even to say. Three sins, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> I am pooped. <laughs> um, dinner was mediocre at best. It was not my finest work. Um, especially after I had such a nice lunch as well. So that was pants. <laughs> um, I, yeah, my mash was just really like gloopy because obviously it was mostly cauliflower and you know, cause most of the potato <laughs> disintegrated. I just dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Um, the Slimming World gravy was okay, but it didn't have any onion pieces in it. Like that's the point of onion gravy, surely is that you get these lovely gravy pieces of onion. It was it was very smooth, but it tasted okay. Very stocky, very herby. It was it was pleasant, you know. I think it would be much better if you do it with some, you know, fry off your own onions and, and then add it to that to make it a proper onion gravy. Um, so yeah, I've got another one in the freezer, so I think I'll try that next time. Um, I don't really have a lot else to say about that. Um, I have 10 sins left, so I'm just having my evening like chocolate treat. Um, everything's cleared up. I'm not gonna lie, it's taken me about 17 times longer than normal because, oh, I just, I've got no energy. I don't know if I mentioned to you guys that I fell asleep again this afternoon um, for about somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours, just on the sofa. <laughs> I woke up and it was dark. I was like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> um, yes, very tired just always tired. Oh, the joys. <laughs> um, anyway, this is the chocolate I'm having today. I filled up my little bowl. I like my this little um, bowl thing because it's my little treat bowl in the evening. <laughs> it's actually a Jamie Oliver dipping sauce thing. Um, anyway, so what I'm having is two of the orange creams from Lidl's. Um, they are 76 cents for two of them, so they're gonna be two cents each. Um, I will confirm on the app, but that is what they're gonna be. So two cents each, that's four. And then I've got four squares, so a quarter of the Ritter marzipan, because I just couldn't resist it, because I really love it. Um, and that's six sins exactly. It's in the app, but it says milk chocolate with marzipan. To my knowledge, Ritter don't do a milk chocolate with marzipan, it's only the dark chocolate with marzipan. <laughs> so I just have to assume that they've written it in wrong. So anyway, it is six sins for the four squares. Um, and that's that, so that's 10 sins, and that puts me exactly on 25 today. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I could easily slip <laughs> today. It's just one of those days where I'm just like, oh, I just can't be bothered. And I'm like, no, 
the short-term satisfaction of eating a whole box of those Bourneville fingers or uh, I don't know, having a load of bread or eating some biscuits, that kind of, you know, more than my sins worth, I mean. Um, the short-term satisfaction of that isn't worth the long-term, uh, I don't know what word to use, disappointment in myself, <laughs> um, the potential for weight gain. Cause like my weight gain, my, my weight loss, sorry, has really slowed down the last couple of weeks. Um, and well, basically the last two weeks of lockdown. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's because I'm eating too larger quantities. So the trouble is if, if I was to like have a day where I go over sins or anything, I think it would just scupper me and I wouldn't lose weight at all that week. And, and you know, I am on an, an eight week losing streak. So it would be a real shame to scupper that just for a moment's, well, not a moment, but a, an afternoon's binging, shall we say, let's put it like that. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it, um, but I'm not gonna lie, it has been extremely tempting again. Um, so I'm pretty glad that I haven't, um, and that's that really. I think tomorrow I'm gonna try and, what's tomorrow, Sunday. <sighs> this is quite nice because my house is like nice and clean. I, um, I don't need to do too much tomorrow. Um, so I think I'll just, I'm just gonna try and focus on having a chill day again. Um, I just obviously still need it and I think I'll try and do some nice things instead of just sort of sitting going oh I need to do so much and I'm too tired um so now that I've got oh god I've got something in my hair probably a bit of mashed potato <laughs> um yeah I think I'll I'll do something nice like play my game I'm really obsessed with Nancy Drew PC games <laughs> um I don't know if it's somewhat of a niche <laughs> obsession, but anyway, um, I'm, I haven't played the one that I'm on for ages, so I'm probably gonna forget where I'm up to, but I've got my notes still written down. They're like mystery games where you solve stuff. Um, I keep an old laptop, or my old laptop, sorry, especially to play the older PC CD-ROM games on, because um, my work Mac just doesn't have a CD-ROM drive. And also, even if I use my VM to play them, it's like, it doesn't work because the sound doesn't work and the picture's a bit dull, it just, it just doesn't work. So I've got my, I keep my, um, I keep my special old Windows laptop that I keep really clean, it's not on the internet, it's just specifically to play these older CD-ROM games. I love it. So <laughs> anyway, I'll, uh, I'm completely digressing, I don't even know why. I'm so sorry guys, you know me. I blether on. <laughs> so yes, that's that. Tomorrow I'm gonna to try and keep my sins low for meals, I think, um, and probably have some more treats just to feel, just to try and get rid of this wanting to binge feeling. Um, Mum will be over in the afternoon. We're gonna watch two episodes of our program. Uh, <laughs> We've given up on Once Upon a Time, or rather I have. Mum's gonna carry on watching it, but we got to season six and I just, I've just lost interest. So I've got Mum onto Grimm now, which I absolutely adore. I love Once Upon a Time as well, don't get me wrong, but I've just, it's after the first few seasons, it's not the same for me. Um, but Grimm, I love all the seasons. So I've started watching that with Mum. She's gonna finish watching Once Upon a Time at home. And um, yeah, so we're gonna watch Grimm. Um, it's not on Netflix anymore, annoyingly, they took it off a year or two ago. Um, but I've got it on Plex, so I just play it on my phone, cast it to my Chromecast. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. Anyway, um, I'm gonna shut up now because I am just rambling about nothing. So I'm so sorry guys, but there you go, there's my exciting life of what games I like to play, what TV I like to watch. I haven't mentioned what books I like to read. I'm still on the Vampire Academy ones at the moment. I read that Blink, the one I went and got from the library the other day. I read that um, by the following day. <laughs> it was uh, so good, so good. So I recommend that. K, I think it's K.L. Slater. Um, there's a couple of you on my Goodreads now, so um, you can see on there what I've been reading. But yeah, I'm on the fourth Vampire Academy book at the moment still. I'm a little bit behind in my reading challenge as well. I wanted 60 books this year and I'm only on 48 or 49, but in fairness, I had like four weeks where I didn't read anything because of, because of, you know, being ill. <laughs> um, I wasn't well enough to read, like, because my head was too bad. So 
you know, I think that's fair. But I'm still going to come in on my 60, I'm determined. <laughs> so anyway, right, I really do need to shut up now. So I'm having a cup of after dinner tea. I've um, got my chocolate. Um, I'm just going to sit here and finish watching the film I'm watching, which is Angel Has Fallen. And <laughs> um, just get this video uploaded. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks ever so much for watching. Sorry for the rambling, but also not sorry because you always tell me not to say sorry. So, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Yay. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you lots. Bye. Hold up. I have cocked up, haven't I? I forgot that I'd had my Healthy Extra A this morning and then I used two Healthy Extra A's in my dinner. Oh my God, guys, I've used a whole Extra Healthy A today. Oh, this is so not like me. Um, what I'm gonna have to do, because it's too late now to do anything about it, but what I'm gonna have to do is, if I have any Healthy Extra A's tomorrow, I'll just have the one rather than two um, to make up for it. How annoying. <laughs>